This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create your own custom brushes in Inkscape. And if you'd like to learn more about how Inkscape works, be sure to check out my Inkscape Masterclass. It's a collection of over 50 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Inkscape, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. I'll have a link in the description of the video if you want to check that out. So to get us started here in Inkscape, the way that this works is Inkscape doesn't actually have a brushes feature built in, but what it does have is it has tools like the pencil tool over here, which allow you to use a custom shape based on what you have copied to your clipboard. And that's what we'll be doing here. So to show you an example of how this works, I'm just going to create a square over here, a regular, perfectly symmetrical square like that. And let me just convert this to a path by going to path, object to path. Let me scale that down. I'm going to right click this and I'm going to go to copy. And then I'll come over here to the pencil tool. And if you notice over here, I have these settings. I'm using uh, create regular Bezier path. The smoothing, I'm going to have that set to about 75. I'll explain that in a minute. And where it says shape, I'm going to have this set to from clipboard. And if I click and drag on the canvas like that, you'll notice what it basically did was it took that square and stretched it out along that path right here. And if I go to the Edit Paths by Nodes tool, you'll notice you'll get a little handle right here. And you could stretch out the width of this path right here. And you could even change the, uh, the path itself, like how it flows and everything like that. So let me get rid of this. Let me come back over here to the Pencil tool just to show you something else here. Over here where it says Smoothing, this determines how rough or how smooth the line that you create is. If I bring this Smoothing all the way down to something like 10, and I leave, I leave it there, and then I go to create another line, you'll notice it's a lot more, a lot more of my hand tremors are reflected in the, uh, the contour of that line right there. Now let me undo that. If I bring the smoothing up even higher, if I bring it up too high to like maybe something like 92, I'll go to create a curved line, and it won't curve as much as, as I drew it. It'll be nice and smooth, but it'll be hard to get those real curves that you'd like to draw in that line. So I've found that a good a good area is about 75. I like to use about 75. It gives you a nice fluid line without having any of the uh, the rough uh, shakes from, from your hand. So let me take this and get rid of this. Now let me show you how this can work with like other custom shapes like stars. I'm going to create this star over here. I'm going to use uh, a regular star instead of a polygon. I'm going to use eight corners. The spoke ratio is 0 0.75 and rounded and randomized both set at zero. And I'm going to click and drag on the canvas. I'm just going to hold Control and Shift so we create that star like that. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. And I'll go to Path, Object to Path to convert that to a path object. And now I can grab the Edit Paths by Nodes tool. And I'm just going to click and drag over all of those nodes and click this little plus icon in here to add some new nodes in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Extensions, Modify Path, Jitter Nodes. And I have this set here to 3.0 and 3.0 for both the X and Y axis. Uh, the shift nodes and shift handles both enabled. And I'm going to click on uh, distribution. We want uniform. I'm going to click on live preview just to see what that looks like. And that right there is what we're looking for, like a, like a rough kind of – it kind of looks like an ink blot is what I'm looking for there. I'm going to click apply. And I'm actually going to simplify this path a little bit. I'll go to path, simplify, or you can just press control L. And you might want to click that a few more times. I'll try Control L a couple more times. Something like that looking pretty good. Now let me scale that down. I'm going to hold Control and Shift to maintain the proportions. And now I'm going to copy that to, to the clipboard by right-clicking it and going to Copy. Come back over here to the Pencil tool or the Draw Freehand Lines tool. And then just click and drag on the canvas like that. And you'll notice it draws like this nice. It looks like a, a streak of paint. Now if you come back over here to the Nodes tool, you can change the thickness of this to make it look even better like that. And when you're drawing your lines, let me come back over here to the tool. If when you're drawing your lines, you're getting like a, an outline with no fill, you can change the settings of that up here where it says fill and stroke. You just click on that and it has the tool settings right here. Now I think by default it has this, to, this tool's own style. It has that set by default, but, but I just changed it to this right here, last use style. So that's uh, another feature you can work with a little further here in Inkscape. So I think that should do it for this tutorial. Oh wait, you know what? One more thing I just want to show you. Once you're happy with how your, your, your brush stroke looks, what you can do is you can finalize it by going to Path, Object to Path, and now you can edit it and work with it like any other path. Whoops. It has individual nodes as you can see here. So I think that should do it. 
I think that should do it for this tutorial. If you have